As Inspector General for the State Department, Howard Krongard was supposed to be an independent watchdog. It was his job to investigate the very type of misconduct alleged at the U.S. Embassy in Kabul, forced sexual hazing of guards, contract fraud, and waste of tax dollars. CBS News has learned that serious allegations about the embassy reached Krongard's office two years ago, where they apparently vanished into thin air. How that could have happened is even harder to explain when you consider who made the complaint. Senator Joe Lieberman, head of the Homeland Security Committee. His staffers say they notified Krongard's office about security and fraud allegations made by high-level whistleblowers from Inside Armor Group, the company that provides embassy security. Do you remember that? No, I have no knowledge of that whatsoever. But CBS News has learned Krongard had a special and controversial link to the company he should have been policing. His brother Buzzy, former executive director of the CIA, was on Armor Group's board of directors. Armor Group's Kabul embassy contract is worth 187 million tax dollars. Did you know your own brother was on Armor Group's board of directors? No, I did not. Why didn't you know? I don't know. <laughs> I guess. Number one, I'm not sure why I should have known, but number two, he never told me. He should have known, I think, in the opinion of a lot of people, because it would be a perceived conflict of interest. Uh, he was a senior official in the Central Intelligence Agency. He did not discuss his matters with me. It wouldn't have made any difference. As I say, I never had anything to do with Armour Group. Krongard insists there was no conflict because he and his brother, quote, lead separate lives. But if the scenario sounds familiar, it is. I'm not my brother's keeper. About the same time the Armour Group complaint disappeared in Krongard's office, lawmakers accused him of dragging his feet on probes into another war contractor, Blackwater. On November 14, 2007, Krongard is asked under oath if brother Buzzy is involved in Blackwater. He says no. But when faced with evidence to the contrary, he phones his brother during a break and then a stunning reversal. I had not been aware of that, and I want to state on the record right now that I hereby recuse myself from any matters having to do with Blackwater. Krongard resigned under fire a short time later. We showed our documentary evidence of Buzzy Krongard's armor group ties to Danielle Bryan. She heads the watchdog group that exposed the embassy guard scandal. But to find that the, the IG's brother was also on the board of armor group is, is breathtaking. There's no way to know what would have happened without the possible conflict of interest. But watchdogs say had the Armour Group allegations been aggressively investigated then, it might have prevented two years' worth of fraud, waste and security risks being alleged today. Cheryl Ackeson, CBS News, Washington.